All right, I'm gonna show you how to find a, a fuel injector that isn't delivering enough fuel to the cylinder. So if you have a misfire, uh, trying to find out whether or not it's the injector. I really do think fuel injectors, like clogged fuel injectors, are really one of the hardest uh, misfire items to diagnose. You know, we can, we can scope voltage and current and, you know, really see that the fuel injector is working electrically, but it's difficult to really nail down fuel delivery. Some guys like to use a pressure transducer on the fuel rail and look for a lack of pressure drop. I have tried it on a lot of different cars and I really haven't been able to get uh, consistent enough results to uh, really be able to show you how to do that. So I think that uh, this using secondary ignition is a much better way to do this because we can get more consistent test results. What we're going to use, since this is a coil on plug car, we're going to use the Pico TA204. And this tool has a nice flexible end on it. And so we can sneak it under intakes and stuff like that. And this paddle will go up against the coil on plug and allow us to kind of visualize secondary ignition. Now I will tell you I haven't gotten consistent enough results with this tool to really kind of trust the firing line voltages per se, but the, the test I'm going to show you today, it's fairly accurate. So what you're going to need to do, and this is more difficult on some coils than others, is you're going to need to place that paddle on the coil where you can um, really pick up a good signal, and I'll show you that. So sometimes that would mean you put the paddle on top. Sometimes you have to go to the side. So really your first thing you need to do is just kind of baseline the vehicle and figure out where the uh, paddle should go. Since I'm going to do a snap throttle and I'm by myself, I'm actually going to jam this uh, paddle in between the coil and the valve cover. And I checked before, uh, I got a good pattern. So. Uh, I'll move over to the computer now. Okay, we're here at the computer. We got our secondary probe hooked up. I went ahead and changed channel A to the coil on plug probe. Uh, you want to make sure your sampling rate is pretty high. So in this case, I got a you know four million sample setup right now. And we're, you know, I got a lot of time on the screen. We could zoom in on this later. So just to look at a idle pattern. You can see we're picking up something that we're used to seeing on an engine analyzer. It looks like secondary ignition. We're going to go live again. And I'm going to do a snap throttle with no misfire. So you'll see we can zoom in and take a look at what we got and we got some some noise here but we're going to go look at a couple different patterns so you can see during that snap throttle we got some pretty good looking waveforms we got a little bit of noise which is okay what we really want to look at is the coil oscillations so you'll see even with this one with some noise the coil oscillations stayed pretty low same thing over here that's where we're really going to be able to see the difference so what I'm going to do now is we're going to go live again I'm going to create a fuel misfire I'm just going to disconnect the fuel injector So we got the fuel injector disconnected, we're going to do another snap throttle.
Now when we take a look at these waveforms, you are going to see a difference in the coil oscillations will be more defined. There will be more noise in the pattern. And then you'll find some coil oscillations, if you look, almost reach the firing line. So that's how you can tell the difference between, you know, a fuel delivery issue or maybe something else going on in the engine. So just kind of looking at these waveforms. You're going to have to look at a lot of them over time. I don't think I went too far in the snap there. Let's go right to the beginning of the snap. Yeah, you can see on these two waveforms, especially this one you'll see, that coil oscillation is much more defined. So that would be the difference between a fuel misfire and an ignition misfire. So this is a nice quick way to determine if your injector isn't uh, flowing fuel the way it should be. Kind of seeing a lot more because people are keeping their vehicles longer. And as a result, you know, you got these 250,000 mile Toyota Camrys going around town. Uh, they're, they're starting to see some fuel injector, you know, clog issues. Hope you enjoyed it.